to do. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a few plugins that will make building our website a lot easier. So let's go to plugins here on the left side. And then you can see we already have two plugins that came pre-installed with our WordPress account. These are the ones that we didn't delete before. So plugins are essentially an extension to your website that give you additional features. Like for example, you could add a plugin that gives you the ability to add a chat function on your website or that gives you some more design options. And that's one of the great things about using WordPress is that pretty much anybody could code a plugin for WordPress websites. So that gives you virtually endless options of what you can do with your website just by applying or by just by installing the right plugin. Now, a lot of plugins are free. And for this video, we're only gonna use free plugins, but there's also some paid plugins as well. Now to add a new plugin, we're gonna just click on add new on the top left. And then the first plugin we're gonna install is called Elementor. So let's type in Elementor here in the search bar. And then it's gonna be this plugin right here. This is like a visual page builder that allows us to use drag and drop when creating our website, which makes everything very, very easy. And this is also the most popular page builder for WordPress. So let's click on install now. And then the next plugin we're gonna install is called Ocean Extra. This is like an extension for our um, theme that we have installed before that gives us a few more design options. So let's click on install now here. Then let's go back and click on plugins. And now the first thing we wanna do is we wanna enable auto updates for all of our plugins so we, that we don't have to manually come into our WordPress dashboard pretty much every day and manually update these plugins. So on the right side, you can see enable auto updates. You would just wanna click on each of these links here so that we have enabled auto updates for all of our plugins. If you don't see this option, you wanna to go to screen options here and then you wanna tick this option, automatic updates and click apply. And then you should be able to see the, this, uh, this button right here. And then with plugins, you can basically have them deactivated or activated once you have them installed. And you can always notice if they are activated by looking at the background of the plugin. So here we can see it's this light blue background and we can also see a, a button that says deactivate. This means that this plugin is currently activated and all the other ones that have a white background, they are not activated. Now to activate the plugins, we could simply click on activate right here or we could also select multiple ones like I'm gonna select the ones we have just installed and then go to bulk actions, activate, and then click on apply. Then just simply close these windows here that show up just to make things look clean.